こんにちは。I b o u n e and hello. I am Darshan. I am Japanese. I am Sri Lankan. I am Fusion. I've hungered and I've eaten my way to make Nihonbashi what it is. Today, join my journeys in Sri Lanka and Japan as I choose ingredients or simply enjoy food, for I am what I eat. Cook with me as I show you the magical ingredient in any dish you cook is you. Today it's all about crabs. We're going to walk sideways. Sri Lankan crabs are really, really sought after in Singapore, and people like Sisir export our crabs to Singapore.、Huh? I've been buying crabs from him for the last 10 years, and I wanted to find the best possible crabs we have here. And I used to go to his truck by Peta and choose with him, and I learned from him how to choose good and bad crabs. So today, after 10 years, he's expanded so much. He's exporting 20 tons of it to Singapore, and I want to show you. How our crabs are graded, and how you can do it too. The me okuma torla din meo. Me sa na torla din exporter toro bio. Ah me. Me ka meat medium size. Gram. Hundred percent meat. This is a water crab. If you press and if your thumb goes in here like that, the softness of it indicates that when you cook it, this is going to put out a lot of water. So it can be the same weight, but. The meat there's hardly any meat. The meat shrinks because the、uh, moisture content of the crab goes out. This is a meaty crab, really hard. This is actually a female crab, and in Singapore they believe this one to have a sweeter、uh, meat. Oh, that's one big one. This is a male crab. The male crab can have bigger claws than a female crab. We are going to join these crabs on their journey to Singapore. So join us out there and see what they do with our crabs. This is Singapore. There are so many flights from Colombo to Singapore, and you wouldn't believe the amount of crabs that travel on these flights. Sri Lanka has so many brand items and brand names in terms of companies, but 20 years ago, I think Sri Lankan crabs also became a branded product of Sri Lanka. This country reveres our crabs more than any other place on earth, and unfortunately, much more than we do. So see you soon in one of the best restaurants serving our chili crabs. This is one of the wet markets out in Singapore, and this place specializes in Sri Lankan crabs. And look at the sign; it says "They are from Sri Lankan crabs." And I'm so proud that Sri Lanka's name comes way before Australia. I mean, where would you find our crabs more revered than Singapore? The pseudo national dish of this country comes from ours, and we don't seem to respect the crabs we have in Colombo. They just come here. I mean, look at this bag. They, I just saw them packing crabs in here. There are holes in them so that when you pack the crabs in here, it doesn't die. So that when you cook it, it's really, really fresh. This place has crabs from Indonesia and Sri Lanka. It's really cool to see that our crabs are also one of the biggest exports. I'm quite sure there were so many crabs on the Emirates flight we came out here that joined us in Singapore. This is one huge Sri Lankan crab. It's 1.4 kilos and it's about 26 dollars per kg. So it's about 36 Sing dollars, 30 US. And these are the much sought after crabs of this country that comes into chili crab and pepper crab. And we're going to try some out now. This is East Coast Parkway, with so many mind-boggling, sensational seafood restaurants, and we visit one of them, the Seafood Kitchen. This is how chili crabs are done in Singapore. You come up to a tank and you choose a crab of your choice, and it's one price. Look at that Sri Lankan crab. This is Veronica, the manager at the Seafood Kitchen out here. Tell me, Veronica, how many crabs do you sell a day here? Well,、uh, 50 kg around there. So that's、it. about 40, 50 crabs. Around 40 kg. And, and do you get customers、crab. coming here to choose、yes. their own crabs? Yes, some customers, well, most are tourists or local.、Okay. Yeah, they are choose and wait because we don't、uh, add any weight. We wait here on the spot. Yeah. And do local come and choose between male and female? Do they prefer、yes. which one? Do they prefer? Okay, for for male crab there is、uh, more meat, and for the female crab there is、uh, more egg. So it、okay. depends. Yeah, some、oh. prefer a male one, some prefer a female. But this iconic dish of Singapore is only Sri Lankan crab, right? Sri Lankan crab, yeah, it's a famous one. Yeah. yeah. 
I have never seen this many Sri Lankan crab like this. Oh. I've always seen them from boxes from up. Oh, from boxes. Okay, from up, okay. but because all these are from air from actually yeah, air from yeah. from Sri Lanka, yeah. So that's why the price is a bit high. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a good price though. Hundred yeah. grand four dollars, yeah. So do Sri Lankans get a discount when they come here to eat Sri Lankan crab? Okay, for this for our new customer, we are giving a ten percent discount. Oh, cool. Yeah. The next stop on our crab journey is Singapore's iconic seafood restaurant, Jumbo Seafood. Chef Ng, the executive chef of the group, greets me and spends almost half a day with us explaining chili crabs. We are inside the Jumbo Seafood restaurant's kitchen at Riverwalk. Chef Ng and other men in white are the ones who gave our crabs the brand status that we enjoy today. I was told that they have a restaurant in Japan and our crabs even fly out there. So let's get cooking with Chef. Let's get cooking. <laughs> what are you putting in there, Chef? This is the chili paste. Chili paste? Yeah. So it's something you can tell me or is it like a secret recipe of the restaurant? Sorry, this is our secret recipe. Okay, okay. <laughs> First, I put, put in the chicken stock. Secondly, that much. Yeah. Okay. So you're mixing a chili paste and a chicken stock. Uh, yeah. And the chicken uh, stock is going to bring out the flavors of the crab out more. Mm, yeah. yeah. So it's very close to Japanese cooking. So chef, can you even tell me uh, what's inside your chili paste? We have uh, 13 kinds of uh, spice. 13? Uh, okay. I can roughly tell you, we have garlic, okay. we have onion, uh, small onion, uh, langquas, you know langquas? No, I don't. You don't know langquas. And we call it blue ginger. Oh, okay. So, we put in the crab. How long are you going to cook it out here? 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Yeah, we, so we have uh, six restaurants in our Jumbo group. It's more than 1,200. So of your 1,200 kilos, how many percentage, how many kilos come from Sri Lanka every day? Mm, no more than 500. Not many trips from Sri Lanka. Okay. Because uh, in Singapore, there's so many restaurants. Uh, but we are sending all the crabs we have out here. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. I just tasted some of their base stock. And I think this is done, right, Chef? You're yep. done with 18 minutes? Uh, 18 What's minutes. What's the next step now? Next step, uh, I want to put in the potato starch. Potato starch, all right. Mm. So you're taking back some pieces so it's easy to mix and stuff like that? Wow, I can see it thickening right now. It's very quick. What's that? So that's just regular egg, isn't it? Yeah. That's a neat trick, Chef. Now it looks like crab roll, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. That's it. Can I taste a little bit yeah. in here?
Oh wow. Is it too hot? No, no. Is it too hot for you? Oh, oh. yes, it's hot. It's hot, right? <laughs> but it's nice. Mm. That was one heck of an experience. I've never been so close to an actual chili crab being ever made. So I'm going to say thank you to the chef in a hurry because I want to get my teeth into this succulent, juicy chili crab they made for us. Thank you, chef, for making this uh, chili crab and showing us how it's made in at your restaurant. Shall we start eating? Because I can't wait any longer. Please. Yes. Which is the best part in the crab to eat? What do you think? This. Is I personally I like the claw. You like the claw? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take the stomach part because I love mm -hmm. that. Let me fish you out a claw. Thank you. That's a big one. Oh wow. Yes, please. Thank you. These are so cute, but yet practical. How do you eat chili crab? With your hands, right? Yeah. Mmm. Wow. This is really, really, really nice. What a treat. Tell me, Chef, why do you like the claw? There's a reason I like the stomach. I want to know the reason you like the claw. The meat is a lot, a lot of meat. Okay. okay. So the skin, skin here, right? And the little bone inside. Mm -hmm. The meat is very straight, right? For me, that's tasty, yes. But I love the inside of the body. Yeah. Yeah, it's really. My, I, I get what you mean. Yeah, I get what I mean. <laughs> See the meat. You can use the pincer to get out the meat. Ironically, these um, kani folk, crab forks, were invented in Japan and they were made for Japanese crabs, especially tarabagani, uh, where their legs are long. Oh yeah. And our Asian crabs, or mud crabs, they have very little short legs, but it's a great tool to use. So chef, what's your favorite crab? I saw Indonesian crabs, I saw Sri Lankan crabs in your kitchen. My favorite uh, crab is from Sri Lanka. Yeah. yeah. So people like you made our crabs famous in Singapore. Of course. Yes. Very nice. Chef, thank you so much for showing us how chili crabs are made at Jumbo Seafood out of Sri Lankan crabs and I have to say thank you to all Singaporean chefs who, who make chili crab who have made our crab so famous I mean it's like a national dish here yeah yeah I'm, I'm proud to say that Singapore's national dish comes from Sri Lanka thank you all so much thank you welcome we go back to Colombo now and we're going to cook some crabs on our own so join me in my kitchen mm -hmm.